Welcome to FT Data Center. Drew here. So you might have been wondering why we call the show FT Data Center. Well, some of you might have noticed that our signature prop is indeed a fish tank, and that fish tank has the initials FT, and then correctly surmised that FT stands for fish tank. To the rest of you, don't feel bad. Uh, we called the show FT because we wanted to make sure that uh, nobody thought this show was only about a fish tank. We're here to talk about any and every possible aspect of data center design and operation. But the stupid reaching goal of this series is to literally make a fish tank into a world-class, ultra-high efficiency, tier four data center filled with 16 or more actual servers capable of supporting the full OpenStack framework. Granted, these servers will be Raspberry Pi 2 nodes, each of which is only about 900 megahertz. We're serious here. This is going to be a tier four data center with dual UPS, redundant cooling, fire rated walls, independent electrical rooms, 24 seven monitoring of all systems and high efficiency backup generators. We're determined to show people how to meet all Uptime Institute requirements and ISO standards, albeit in the fish tank. But by the end, we will compare our design to the Uptime Institute guidelines and see how close we can get. We're also going to use this as a test bed for different air conditioning and power technologies to showcase concepts using household items in a way that's accessible for everyone, not just data center experts. Once our data center is done, we're going to open it up to the public OpenStack cluster capable of somewhere around 10 gigaflops, or roughly the capacity of the ETA 10 supercomputer, the fastest computer in the world in 1987. <laughs> we uh, may choose to install a GPU array or some other high performance computing systems, but I mean, it's a fish tank, come on guys. The point here is to use this as an example of real-world infrastructure like power, cooling, networking, and monitoring systems. Here's a quick overview of the proposed components of our system. Two 20-amp extension cords, two Arduino-controlled automatic transfer switches, two generators, one of which will have an automatic starter, the other human-powered, one photovoltaic array with optional inverter, one wind turbine with optional inverter, four surge protector plug strips, two 350 watt UPS units, two manual UPS bypass switches, two custom built HVAC systems capable of adiabatic direct and indirect economization, as well as DX backup, two dual corded power supplies, two eight port network switches, and finally, 16 Raspberry Pi 2 computers. Keep checking back in with us for more tutorials, and as you do, you'll see more and more progress in our fish tank data center until just maybe it's as good as Amazon's or Google's best. It almost definitely won't be, but that's okay. We have a lot of fun stuff planned between now and then. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay centered. Brought to you by GreenLane Design. To learn more, visit greenlanedesign.com.